Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're on the desktop of Ubuntu 22.04 in an effort to see what is the least amount of RAM that Ubuntu will boot on. So in this video I'm pretty excited to see what we can actually crank Windu not Windows, Ubuntu 22.04 down to before it just refuses to boot. So right now this machine is running at 4 gigs, which I think that it's capable of running at 1 gig, you know. I feel like we're going to definitely see Linux start to struggle in the megabytes, but I really feel like Ubuntu will be able to boot with one gigabyte of RAM. Surely it will. And sure enough, it did in fact boot, and we are logging into the system right now. Again, it is it, it automatically slowed down as soon as I put it at one gig. Like, this is taking way too long. But it still booted, so it doesn't really matter how slow it is, just the fact that it did actually boot. So okay, I'm gonna take this down to 768 megabytes. Now with Windows, when I do Windows operating systems, I kind of have an idea of what they're gonna run on based on like their predecessors, you know, what come what came after. Like if Windows 8 booted on, let's just say I don't remember specifically. Let's say it booted on 512, and Windows Vista booted on 230. I have a rough idea of what Windows 7 is gonna boot on. But what's different about this is I've never done this experiment on a Linux distribution. Now before anyone Linux people come in and say, oh Linux can run on this, 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 and you got all this stuff wrong, I will admit I'm probably going to say some things wrong about this. I don't use Linux on a daily basis. My main OS is Windows, not Linux, so excuse me for that. But 768 megs of RAM, we're in, we're ready to roll. I'm not going to wait for the DE to load because it, it booted up and waiting for the DE is going to take way too long. So I'm going to crank this down to 512, half a gig of RAM. Let's see what happens. And here we are, 512 megs of RAM. I want to go ahead and shut this down. And we're going to go to 416, if it'll let me. Perfect, 416 megs. Let's try it. All right, so we are on, I think, 416 megs. Definitely taking quite a long time for even the login screen to load, but we're at the login screen Doesn't really matter if I can get into the desktop environment, which I'm sure if I waited longer I'd be able to this experiment is to prove What can I do you know what will Not 260 I'm at 368, but what is the least amount of RAM before Linux just is like Nope, no more no more booting time and it just quits. That's that's what we're trying to find out. Not is it usable, because obviously this is not usable by any means. Oh right, well that was quick. End kernel panic, not syncing, system is deadlocked on memory. Well that was not as good as I would have expected it to be. So our true minimum lies between 368 and 416, so I'm gonna take it to 400. Because we need to determine what is the absolute least that this will work on. And it took me to grub for some reason, probably because of the kernel panic. 400 megs, we have in fact booted uh, to the login screen. So I'm going to go 388. I'm going to try this. 388 megs, booting up now. Kernel panic, 388. So we narrowed it down even more between 388 and 400 so that means there's only two more options we can try 396 and 392 anyways so 396 did not work so that must mean that if it boots on 400 that our absolute minimum is 400 megs which I'm kind of disappointed at that you know considering Linux is so open source I would have really expected it to beat Windows 10 or even Windows 11, but it didn't. Windows 11 ran on way less RAM than this, so did Windows 10. Actually, all of the modern Windows OSs ran on less RAM than this. Everything with the exception of Windows 10 was a 64-bit OS, just like this OS is. Kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. I was expecting a lot more out of this distro, but again... Who's really going to be running Ubuntu on 400 megabytes of RAM? 
I don't even know if that's possible to have in a computer, like exactly 400. So we got here and it says not listed, but I really can't really click on anything. Maybe it's still loading. But anyways, that's beyond the point of this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos and experiments, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.